Hi, my name is Stefan Lamar, and this is the Free Mint IRX. Um, so I had this pedal for a couple of days, and I, and I used it over the weekend, and uh, it's honestly been great. The feel is there with it having the two preamp section, and the sounds you can get from it is great as well with the IR technology that they combined in it. So we have uh, three buttons on the front, which you can set up in a number of different ways. Uh, we have channel one that's mainly clean to the mild crunch and then channel two uh, starts where channel one left off and you can go to distortion from there and then you have a boost that you can uh, use as a volume increase or you can add gain to that via the knobs on the side here um, that you can change the gain from um, and there's a volume for the boost on the front let's get started on how i use this Here's my clean setting on channel one. Um, just be aware that you may have to run the volume all the way up if you're going to run this clean. Um, I don't think it was meant to be that clean of an amp. So just be aware of that. Uh, I have the gain set at about 11 o'clock. And uh, I have a delay in the effects loop just to give it some space. And so this is my clean setting. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my clean setting. And then we go over to channel two and I have a uh, kind of an overdrive that I use for some lead lines, maybe some rhythm parts. Um, so yeah, here's channel two. And I'll use the bridge pickup just to show you some of the rhythm tones. <laughs> some on the neck pickup right so that is my rhythm slash lead uh, rhythm slash yeah lead parts right and then here's my solo tone which I just engaged the boost on channel 2 so yeah so not a, a whole lot of gain because i'm not a big gain i'm not a heavy gain uh user yeah so not a whole lot of gain um on channel two i have the game just over 12 o'clock so i have a lot more room on tap before i even have to use the, the boost function it's just that i don't use a lot of gain i'm not a metal or uh heavy gain user so that's probably how we use this um some of the things that i notice um when using this is the irs in here are not some of my favorite irs um and this brings me to something that I've been kind of thinking about recently with uh, IR technology. Um, they sound, it sounds like a speaker mic, but I typically like it to sound like how I would hear it in a room, which is very hard to create um, in the IR technology. Um, I'm using my own Celestian uh, IR in here. It's a V30 uh, 112. Um, but the IRs that come stock to me just sound a little bit too like a mic um, amp. And maybe that's a good thing to some people, but for me, I want it to sound more like how I would hear it if it was in the room. So that is one criticism that I would have of this. Also, um, when it comes to gain, um, the gain is very smooth. Uh, it's not compressed which is kind of, I usually like more compressed style gains, which I, which I use pedals to get that. Um, this is more like an amp, like 
gain. So there's no compression really in the sound. It's it's kind of like it. Um, and maybe maybe if I increased it, it would sound more uh, compressed. But it it sounds more like a like there's a uh, it sounds more smooth. And in some ways that works well. Like for rhythm, I think this works excellent for rhythm uh, tones. <laughs> Yeah, for so for so basically what I mean is usually you know when you come from clean to uh, an overdriven sound, it is a bit of a compression that makes it play a lot easier. Now there is some in there, but for the most part, it kind of feels the same under my hands when I'm playing clean and when I go to this lead tone. Um, it's not much of a, a change in that feel. And then again, in some ways that's a good thing, and in other ways. Um, it's just not what I'm used to coming from other pedals. So that's the Freeman IRX. I may do some more videos on it if I have any more things to add to it. Um, other than that, um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. Thanks.